Hello, all you fair freaking tastic people. It's your boy MB Dusak coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And oh my god, this game is getting so epic. I don't even know what to say anymore. This game is just freaking amazing. Let's continue with the main quest. So we're just gonna do that and we'll see what happens, right? But I would really at this point do those side quests because they've been sitting there for quite a while now. Did we brought Dion back? Did we brought Dion with us? Is that what's happening? Oh, they're probably down because of mother. Yeah, mother, um, yeah, you know, something, right? How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. <laughs> oh, if only he would know her. Uh, oh! Yes. I think it's beyond the curse at this point. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? Yeah. It's never ending. There's gotta be an end to the game at some point, right? Even the sky. Seems to have grown tired of it all. Very purplish. Very Ultima-ish. Oh yeah, that's right. He did do that whole Cloud Sephiroth thingy. Yeah, that's right. I was forgetting about that. Alright, so things fall apart. Mmm. Yeah, it's starting to get, uh... I feel like the end is near. Maybe. Perhaps. Probably not. I probably still have several hours to go, but, you know. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Abilities details are found on the Abilities tab in the main menu. Bahamut's feet. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Use Bahamut's iconic feet, Wings of Light, to begin casting Mega Flare, an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press Circle to cast a spell when ready. Taking damage while casting will cancel the spell. Oh. Dogs. Am I right? <laughs> right. All right. I won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Yes. Let's check out the report while we're here. Reading table. Quite the mess. Word out of Twinside is that there's little left of the capital after the Mad Princess Royal Tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? <laughs> yeah, that whole shit was the tits. I trust you did, but a stolas might be good to set El's mind at ease. Theodore. Hmm. Curse breaker intelligence. Reports from our brothers and sisters afield are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final Mother Crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood, do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is, as ever, dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then watch continues 
May the Crystal's Curse be broken. Greetings from the Crisson Caravans. I trust you and your party gain the Dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of, the, of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer a discount on our usual rates. It was. Yeah, instead of like, what, 15 million? It'll charge me like nine? Ridiculous! We do have to speak to Otto. But I, at this point, I'm afraid that as soon as we do main quest stuff. Did you see the pair that got hauled into tires? Aye, all their fancy silks stained red. Yeah, Dion and Joshua. Yeah, what I was saying is that I don't want to talk to Otto yet because I have noticed that when we decide to do a main quest right now, we might be pushed into a very linear path that blocks us from doing the side quest. So before we speak to Otto, well, first I should check to see if we can actually... Never mind, we will speak with Otto. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's... Yeah. So what is the new stuff that you have? All right. Nah, I don't need any of these. I don't... Why, right? Oh, is that what she has that's new? Okay. Oh, she has three orchestron rules now. But we are broke as... Fuck. I just realized that we don't have any potions, though. So let me... I find a better price than let that? me at least stock up on these, right? And now, let's try to sell any valuables that we have to see if we actually have any money of some sort right wait i don't or did i did i miss it oh i don't oh yeah i do i have one black blood mm. i reckon i can find a buyer let's go check out blackthorn though trouble <coughs> here or black oh yeah yeah we're Sorry, trying to get that done bright burn the grindstone and the light shard. It is better than what we have right now, so. It'll last you a good while. Thank you, good sir. Yeah. The Sons of Ouroboros. Ouroboros? Ouroboros? Arboros? Ar I'm gonna say Arboros. Uh, but yeah, more HP, more defense. It seems that we need um, a lot of stuff. What, is yellow like legendary? Is that what it is? I don't remember. Uh, this might be tough to get, though. Yeah, okay. And oh, oh, um, so what do I, owe Diana? I forgot to check for a Sorry, reinforcement. Can I reinforce? Probably not. Yeah, there's no point. Like even the di the diamond armlets plus one HP minus three defense. Got it. <clears throat> Fine. Ooh, look at that sword. Look at that sword. Oh! Mm, mm, mwah! Oh, we're gonna kick some ass with that. Something new to the added stone? What is it? Hey! Maybe the Hall of Virtue. Let's see if there was other. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. There would there would have been a little thingy magic at the appearance of this though, right? We got normal and right. Yeah, they only got like two appearances. Like two costumes or outfits or whatever what, what, what are you want to call them. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? It would seem that the Hideaway song has changed though. It's more dramatic. Hey Otto. Otto. How fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Mm. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. 
Good. <laughs> just good. Right, fine. Anything good. Like what good, good. Yes, we do. Oh no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Well then. Hello, Dizzy Day. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Cleric's Medallion. All yours. All done? Yes. You know, I almost feel like equipping that one. <laughs> Where's my gears? What, what do I have? Increase Raging Fist damage by 10%. Reduces Judgment Bolt cooldown by 9 seconds. That's pretty cool. I think I want to... I'm not sure what I, which one I would want to keep, though. I like Raging Fist. But I do want to try out... I do want to try out Behemoth. Yeah. Let's try that out. Behemoth channeled. It would appear as we have two more that we can unlock from the looks of it. Which I am going to assume it's... Well, one is Odin. We're probably going to have to fight Odin that has a mother complex. And the last one has to be Shiva. And I'm hoping that I'm wrong on that one. Because if we get Shiva with every fucking fucker trees that we've seen so far. It might mean Jill might die too. And I would I don't want that. So, you know. Alright. So let's upgrade. I don't know what, what does the master do? increases maximum mega flare level to four. Okay, so we have the flare breath. Breathe Thor a plume of light, as aspected flame that deals continuous damage. Oh, and upgrade increased breath range and allows yeah. Hmm, what's the other one? We got impulse summon multiple spheres. Okay, yeah, so that's the one. And if we upgrade, it increases the number of orbs. I think I do want that one. That seems very cool. We also have satellite. Summon multiple light aspect familiars that attack any enemy on which Clive uses magic. Oh. And then we have Giga Flare. Oh, I want the. Oh, no. Oh, I want. I need me some ability points. So I think I want. I think I want this one. And the upgrade is what? Increase the number of satellites? Okay. Cool. No, I keep pressing, like, leaving instead. All right, so we have impulse. And I want satellite. You know what? I think I would want satellite here. Based off the moves that I usually have. Wait, Thunderstorm? Oh, I mastered Thunderstorm? Oh, wait! Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't need to master Thunderstorm. I'm gonna upgrade it. But that means that I don't want this one. I'm gonna reset. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Oh, yeah, boy! And the upgrade is what? Increased number of hits inflicted by the beam? Yeah, whatever. I, I still want... <laughs> Yeah! Oh, shit! I did it again! Fuck! <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, so that means that I do want Impulse. I think Impulse would be fine. And then for Triangle, I want Giga Flare. Yes. Oh! Oh, I want to try these out. Alright. <clears throat> now, instead of the 10% damage to Raging Fists, I'm going to do the High Cleric's Medallion so that we get X extra healing from my heart uh increases healing points of high potions by 25 percent wait but what's the other one In increases healing potions of oh healing po of potions oh we have high potions and we have potions 
the high potions already heals us by quite a lot and they're more expensive I, I would probably want to increase the healing potency of, of my potions instead of high potions by 40 percent then right maybe hmm okay let's try the high cleric's medallion and then we'll try the cleric's medallion plus one after let's do that yeah still want the berserker ring i still want the breath of lightning judgment bolt right because i don't think there's anything else yeah because i don't have any for behemoth yet and being able to use judgment bolt i think would be pretty good that we can use it more often nectar we got some new hunts <clears throat> is that what it is i want to see the hunt board oh yeah we got like three well, okay, well, that's the Bomb King. That's the one that we... That's part of the quest. We have... That's the S rank that we had earlier. The Tent of Clubs. So, we have more fighting in Delmachio. Man, what's up with these guys, right? The Tent of Clubs. Merchants who ply their trade across the fields of Korova. Tell of an outlaw. Five and twenty hands high and mighty. A few who preys upon unescorted travelers. They claim he lives alone in one of the many abandoned villages that litter the region. So, Vamar. But none has been brave nor foolish enough to narrow the search any further. If you who read this have either or both of those qualities, the, the, the Mikians beg your aid. And he's a B rank. Okay, that's not bad. But we got a A rank. The Magath Brothers. Quite Saints Rosadia. This looks like what black shields ish alone rowing both has been sighted making land off the coast of port is its occupants wearing the garb and speaking that le the language of iron kingdom crusaders oh yeah the iron kingdom okay yeah those guys okay one well, can only assume that they come to take their vengeance upon sit the outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear we advise against all travel to the area lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation and then we got the last one Rune reawaken location is still no idea. Saint Brequa's legend tells of a dread dragon who sat near half the realm of light with his torrid breath before being scaled away behind a magical mist. By Grieger herself, some sources claim, though it has long been forgotten which parts of the tale are true and which are mere myth. Recent reports of a great dragon's roar for Bur reverberating around the woodland passes of the empire are real enough okay all right so we got a whole we got a whole bunch of side quests now uh yep 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 and i don't think there's well okay that's it. okay all right well let's speak to vivian then hello vivian how is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? I don't, I don't know. Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. Mm. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. Lots of people died. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. Do you no. believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. What are the facts? What facts are you talking about? A... Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces, now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks, cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. 
And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Walud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. We had nothing to do with it. It would seem not us. our we didn't civilization do nothing. was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. Hmm. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Hmm. Well, I guess we shall stop them then. Let's go speak with Hoppities. But while we are on there, we do have some new orchestra music. Let's check it out. It seems the hideaway has lost its Twilight. Oh, that's the one that we're listening to now. I'm pretty sure. We, yeah, the sand, sand and stone. Oh yeah, boy! Oh, you can say it lies. Oh, and of course, we got the lo-fi-ish. I want to say lo-fi-ish <laughs> electronic version of it. Hmm. Yeah. Now we can keep Twilight, right? Which is the new song. Or we can go back with the upbeat one of. No, you know we're we're gonna keep it at the new one for now. Because the story has changed, and thus the music has changed, and we must keep that music there for theming and emotional purposes. Mm. Let me guess, you're here about the skies. Yeah. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. Mm. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample <laughs> wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Claude, we have a problem. Of course we do! Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. Oh! We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cash at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. Oh. When it rains, it pours. It fucking pours. It fucking pours. <laughs> are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means. There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Yup. Alright. So, before I go, I'm gonna write down the locations. Because I always fucking forget where shit is, right? There we go. But I, I am definitely hoping to actually try out some S rank hunts, right? As you look at the list, do you? Yes, I do. Here you go. So we have why we fight. Wait, I think we have that one already, right? Oh yeah, the, it's all the main quests. Okay. Think you can help? Yes, of course we can. There's nothing else here other than tomes, but I don't. We don't. I don't want to do that right now. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna save Martha for last, cause save the best for last. We're gonna go see Martha again. Come on, right? Let's go do this one. We'll do the side quest that's here. We'll do the main quest. Wait, where is it? Behind there. Is it? Is it in the inn? Can I go in the inn now? I cannot. Wow, this is. Ooh. This is great. Okay. Oh, it's Turgle. Oh, come on! God damn it! I feel good, boy. <laughs> fucking thieving bastards. My shop. Oh, shit. Why would anyone do such a thing? Man. Yeah, it's not going to do well, if huh? If I had my pickaxe, I would... You would what? Oh, my... At least hurt one of them. Oh, is, is there something... Oh, there is something new. Here you are. Let's go check out I what's new. We have no money, Good day, though. my lord. We are fucking broke. We are broke. Very broke, motherfucker. Oh, this one. Okay. But it seems like we need a lot Thank of money. Thank you for your custom. Yeah, but I didn't do it. anything, really. Yo. Wait, what? Oh! Are you shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ain't that, where are you? You're making a fool out of me. I don't appreciate that. How the fuck do I get there? Can I open this door? No. Okay then, let's go do the main quest, cause it seems we can't do the side quest yet. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? No. No, you're fine. Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill. Clive has told me much about you. Ah! All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've... Yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. What little problem? And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. 
Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hair has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Down the rabbit hole, huh? So... Suppose we just follow the shouting. He said they left with their gill and food days ago. So you're telling me that you've left your shop in this mess for a few days? Come on, bro. Oh, wait, is the lock on there just... That's what it means. It means that I can't get the quest yet. <laughs> or it means that I'm... I have primarized it. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood. It's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. Yeah. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? I'm pretty confident I can take care of it. What happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. Okay. Sid and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. Mm, We're good. still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Mm-hmm. Haven't we had enough fighting? All right, can we finally grab the quest, though? People take notice of wealthy men. Wait, is it? Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Oh. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. Oh, there you I go. I beg of you. Before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Oh, please. Allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? But, 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 I have a quest. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. Hmm. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. And I'd suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, 
You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You have but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. Mm. And that's where I'm heading. The band is I should speak to Lord Ignac in your so, absence. Is that right? And arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell. And best of luck. Okay. Let's do it. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. I have a solution. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. Yeah, we will. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? We, we wreck their faces? Well, if it were my namesake. He'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Jill on that one. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Okay. Play along. What he means to say is yes. Okie dokie. Picture it, Conrad. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary <gasps> guild in the Free Cities. Really? A pleasure, my lady. The Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt, and not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? 
that a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. Well, wow. oh, that was easy. That Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. That, that was not a compliment there, Clive. I mean, it may still be possible to buy some. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill, at your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine driving the prices higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. <laughs> Great acting. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. Mm, 10 out of 10. Right through it. No, I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Okie dokie. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Well, Joel is nice. Mm -hmm. Nice looking. So. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. Nice. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. Oh, of course. All of them. All right. Not serious. Let's go wreck some faces. They don't just want food. They want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. Yeah. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert. In a move, doubtless, intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Yeah. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. They, they might have been... We'll hold them off for as long as we can. Not in agreement and earlier. we will do the same. But in this case, 
I, I have, I'm pretty confident they will hold hands. All right, well, let's go fight. Mm. <laughs> the women folk have come to fuck us. I'll take that one. He's all yours. Not bad. Not bad. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. And uh, what about Mega Flare? Oh shit! I can't aim! Wait, so if I cancel... Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, though. They mean to yeah. Us. yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. sure what I'm supposed to do here but all right I'm at two is that all that it is is that all that I can do here Wait, what that's it That's it? That's all, like, am I? Do I need to go practice it or something? Because that is fucking slow beyond slow. I didn't like that. I did not like that. Townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Let's try it again. All right, let's try it again. Natalie. Oh. I owe you an apology. Hey, good. Oh. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. 
Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Save. There you go. United. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. Yeah. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. Yeah, that's our skill. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna try out the hammock one more time. Let let me like read about it though. So. Velcro Desert. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to go find that. Um, that, the, 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 his stuff. Yeah, the Lord Ignac stuff. Okay. Like, if we check here, begin casting Mingle Fair. Press circle to execute. The length of the casting determines the potency of the spell. When you let go of it, though, it starts to go down again. Right? I, I'm not a big fan of it. This one was all right, though. This, this one was all right. And Giggle Flare, of course, it's really strong, very powerful, but you gotta aim and shit. I guess that's fine. Because what was the other ability that we have? We have Flare Breath. It's just kind of like a mini of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Wings of Light, though. Very not sure. I, I did upgrade it, right? It, it is upgraded, yes. No. Oh, yeah, 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 this one, this one. Right? Mastery includes Miggle Flare level up to four. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, details. Casting progress can be monitored via the casting gouge on the left-hand side of the screen. I saw that. Spells cannot be executed until casting gouge has reached at least level 1. Spell effects and potency increases with casting level. Most abilities are unavailable while casting. R1 can be used to dodge attacks. Precisely dodging an attack is called a Miggle Flare dodge. Executing a Miggle Flare dodge rapidly fills the casting gouge. Taking damage cancels the spell. Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay, you know what, now that I know that, that one I do dodges while casting it, at least, come on, faster, you know, if, if I can make it go higher quicker, let me try, let me try it again, let me try it again, let me fight some enemies and shit, right, like those birds there or some shit, oh, the song, Oh, this is just great. This is good shit. What? Ah! Oh, what a fucking waste! Nope, okay. Yeah, it has to be like precise dodges, right? Nope. I don't have my timing. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I got it. Mega Flare. Woo. And I like. You're finished. <laughs> Nice, okay. So basically, from now that I understand it a little bit more, the behemoth is Ready, go. being patient, right? You are patient with your abilities. But then you deliver very powerful attacks. 
What is that? Is that a curl? Is that a fucking souped up curl? Okay. Because the other one is, yeah, we have this one. We got the titanium block. All right. Guard is maintained indefinitely while X circle is held. Oh, I can just keep all this time. I didn't know that. I can just keep pressing it. God damn it. Movement is possible while guarding. However, movement speed is reduced. Blocking attacks with titanium block fills the limit gauge, uh, break gouge. Titanic block cannot block certain powerful attacks. A skewed titan block at the exact moment of an enemy attack is called precision block. And precision blocks can fend off powerful attacks that a normal titanic block cannot. And precision blocks fill the limit break gouge at a faster rate than, uh, than titanic blocks. Immediately after executing a precision block, square can be pressed to deliver up to three powerful counters. That's the thing though. To, to do those though, you, you gotta kind of know what the enemy moves are and when it's a good time to use it or not in blind justice l can be used to move r to aim targeting crossers a target can be locked onto multiple times yeah i noticed that lightning can be locked onto more than one target and lightning will affix to an enemy upon striking it striking an enemy that has lightning affixed to it will cause the lightning to discharge dealing extra damage discharges will trigger all nearby lightning to discharge regardless of whether it is affixed to another enemy or not and discharge damage is relative to damage dealt to trigger the lightning therefore melee attacks are recommended over range shots yeah okay so you just so you target them you put shit ton of stuff on them and then huh yeah that's kind of cool okay so Bahamut is cool it's really cool, but do I want to use Behemoth now? Now that I know more about it, right? It's just, yeah, it's very powerful, but just it's slow. You gotta be patient with it, right? And yeah, enemy recover recovery time is significantly increased. And the staff used to conjure the thunder can be used to strike enemies directly above Clive. Moving will not interrupt casting. I never really read these, right? While damage to the main target is is, is significant, while while uh, damage dealt to enemies caught in the area of effect is negligible, recommended for for use on staggered enemies. Yes, I am aware of that. And yeah, so those are the three that we use. We have the rage and fist. If time precisely, the first strike can block an incoming attack. Blocking an attack with rage and fist will change the follow up attack, increase attack potency, reduce ability cooldown by fifty percent. Ability duration can be extended by tapping the execute button. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I did not know that. It's it's like the um Yeah, it's it's like the gouge, right? Follow the strike can be formed by tapping the execute button. Yeah, so we can keep going further. Oh man, I should have been reading these for much longer, right? Because that's what I have. I have raging fist, I have earth and fewer. You know what? I can reset this one. And it doesn't really give you much. Okay, that's fine. Earth and Fury. Lighter enemies are not back significantly and will suffer multiple hits. Oh, that's all. Okay, that's all it is. Okay. So big enemies is going to stay there, but lighter enemies is just going to get hit multiple times. Because they got fucking flown around. All right. You know what? All right. Let's go um, try to fight that big old curl there, I guess. Because I do want to practice a bit. Yeah, look at this place. All right. No holding back. Oh ah, shit. Oh shit. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No? Okay. Ah shit! <laughs> there we go. No, okay. Shit. There we go. Yeah! 
<laughs> oh yeah, boy! Get fucking right! It's not... I'm probably not gonna use the Behemoth. It's not... It's strong. It's not the fighting style that I seem to appreciate the most, though. What the fuck is that? Harpies? But I'll do at least this fight here with, with Behemoth, and then we'll see, right? We've got company! Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off! I love the Titan one though. Oh, the Titan one is fucking amazing. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, oh, fucking right, man. Come on, bro. Get fucking wrecked. You free. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. Yo. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right, let's get it back to Delamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. Yeah. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern, glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well. Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. Hmm, I Maybe see. No combat yeah. should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only, they crack upon a second blow. Oh. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. That's what we want. A mineral quite foreign 
to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I speak. Oh, far rarer nice. among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unstoppable. Scrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count. <laughs> I was gonna say, there too many? <laughs> one do I consider my nemesis, Lord Byron Rosford. <laughs> Uncle! He's a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Oh. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. Mm. That's great, the connection there. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? But before we go, though, I need to find me. So it's in uh, the Vamari, right? Oh, 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 right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he is right there. Um, my items. Uh, no, I want to at shirt. Sure, yeah, I'll put him here. Yeah, I don't have any potions though. Oh, hopefully I uh, I'm not gonna fuck up too bad, right? The ten of clubs rank B. I should be fine. Only those who have nothing. Oh, what? Did I? Oh, I take your pockets. I fucking failed. Yeah, go! Yeah. 
There it is. There it is! Shit. Oh! Oh, fucking right! Oh! I think I get him now, right? I think I got him! I think I got him! Oh no, no I don't have him. Not yet. Definitely not yet. Mark Slane, peace out, bro. You're dead. Uh huh. We got some right now. We got a Skarl tight. We got a meteorite. That is going to turn out more. And he did. We were more similar than he knew. So let's go to Nortreach. Let's grab. Let's grab or continue or whatever the side quest that's there. And we'll do all that, and then we'll do the hunt that's there as well at the same time. It is in the croc. Croc! First we find Isabel. Which is... I'm not entirely sure where the croc is. I do not see the croc in here at all. However, I do see right here, though, there is possibly a new area that I have not explored yet so let's refill them you potions see anything you like? Maybe, perhaps yep new music but we're broke as fuck like, like always I do like a customer who knows what he wants yeah potions I saw it with my own eyes Hole of Let's go grab the main quest. Let's do that. Yeah, it's been quite a while since we've I been here and talk uh, to the dame. Is it the dame that's there? Oh, I remember her. Lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. Yeah. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. Mm -hmm. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. Yeah. And what is your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Yeah. Then we'll look for her there. Damn, man. Oh! Fucking Ultima. Piece of shit. More arrived from the capital this morning. I'm assuming we will fight Ultima at some point, and I can't wait. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. Fucking right! She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. Mm. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as Fucking well? Fucking coward. Not if we don't have to. Bro, up here. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Oh, I have a knife that bothers me. Bothering me. Ah, oh, 
Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider ah! is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Yeah, is Matthew here? You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. We'll go check up on them. Make sure your family's all right. Family. No They're fucking promises, though. It's all right. A dream. Yeah. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? Just gone? Man. On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. Fucking awesome. At least we have an idea of where the thralls you might be. You fucking now. piece of this shit. Fuck. Through. It took off the captain's head before we could even draw his steel. Yeah. So let me check here. So we do want to go this way. All right. I also gonna eventually have to go and check out that. Is that two? Yeah. There's two places here and well here from the looks of it. So let's go, yeah, let's do the main quest first. I wonder if more is even more in trouble. Oh, oh shit. Look. Okay. I see them. With me. See an enemy get wrecked? Ah! Is that the only one left? No way. Eh? Ah! Ah! Oh, he teleported! Titan. What an ah! asshole! Ah! 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 Oh, even more. Draw ah! Lich! Oh! More intense! Come on, bro. Come on, fool. Oh, yeah! Get wrecked, fool! Come on. Oh! Get free! 
Walker, eh? How about you just die? Jesus. Fucking liches. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Do you think there are more? I don't know. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. Let's go back. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes. El Capitano! The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Ah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Any time. Quest complete. Why we fight? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. One day I'll have enough abilities and master shit and do super sweet combos and stuff, right? All right. So we are gonna be looking for that. Uh, is it quicker either way? I don't think so. Yeah, the Imperial Chase. So let's see if it's here, because we are looking for the croc. All right. Wherever the fuck that is. Oh, right there. Oh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Back to the stables, girl. Um... Rolls around the woodlands passes. Oh, 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 give me a sec. Is this the S rank dragon? No, okay. Oh, no, it's just because <laughs> it's only because I'm in the technically a little town, right? Abandoned, but yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. Well. Ready, go. No, nope, not that way. This way. Yeah, this way. I'm coming for you, Bomb King! That'll do, girl. There he is. Yeah, that's not creepy. Rank B! Mm -hmm. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Look what we have here. Appreciate so much, Eddie. Come on. He 
doesn't have a stagger bar though. He does not have a stagger bar. Shit, bro! Fucking chill! Oh, fucking shit. Holy fucking shit! I don't think it matters. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what the fuck was happening there, but damn. Lots of chaos. Mm. Alright, well that's another HUD down. Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. Yeah. This yep. looks like the stuff. That does look like the stuff. Let's see if there's any more. Oh. I guess we need three. That should do it. If a wine needs more than this, he can fetch it himself. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't I don't know where I'm running, but I don't need to go this way anymore, right? More broom. Could it be? This is where we fought the griffin. Could it be here? Cellar passage. Have we fight? I don't think we fought anything there, though. No, but there was a quest, I think. I don't remember. I kind of feel like checking out what's here in Morbrum, right? Oh, very nice. It would kind of be great to Good find God. another potion, though. I do need to go to straight. Wait. That's it. Gotta go straight. I gotta take a right somewhere. I don't want to fight that dragon over there. Potion. Oh, yes! We are now full on potions. Very, very nice. Nice indeed. Okay. So now, now okay. We are definitely full now. Oops. I did go... But we got full potions by doing that, so I am okay with this. Nah, I would rather not have to fight that thing there, but okay, good. Right way, yep. Okay, let's go see what's this way. Hello. More broom. Eh? Not really sure. Go check it out. I never know. Cause I've never been this way, right? Nope. This seems like a very long path to somewhere. Where does this lead? I don't know. Oh, but I do see something there. He deserves a rest. I do see a treasure here. Come on. Ring of the Marksman. What does that one do? Ring of the Mark increases the will damage of magic by 10%. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. That in combination with the Berserker Ring, I think works, right? I'm gonna try it. I do want to try it. I'm not sure what's going on here, but very peculiar. <laughs> Tangil. Oh, oh, is it? Is it? 
Is it? It is! I'm, uh, I'm taking my time here just because I, I don't know what to expect, right? But they're they're very strong from the looks of it. Holy shit! Come on! got the sagger though there we go oh we got the fucking sagger Do I have, do I have, do I have, do I have, do I have? Is, is, is there a point to use that while I am using this? Shit, shit. Holy fuck. 
So, chances are I'm just way too low level for this. So, I'm going to restart from the nearest obelisk, and I will come back when I'm high level. <sighs> because pretty much you need to know, like, at, at the level that I am currently at, I'm going to assume that my issue is, uh, you just gotta really know the fight and just not get hit because he hits like a fucking truck. He was level 50, he's an S rank, and I am only level, does it show me? Like, I'm only like 37, right? So it could be that I'm just not good enough. A lot of people might be able to do it at this level as themselves, but I think I'm gonna come back later for the S ranks. We shall go to, mm, yeah. Yeah, way too, way too tough. So which one is this one? Payback. Oh. Okay. I didn't notice that earlier. Let's go get it. Oh. So that is what... So those locks is... is That's what it is. Okay. Well, let's open the world map then. So from the looks of it, we have... Yeah, we only got Martha's rest that is left. Oh, we shall do that. Mm hmm. 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 Okay, Martha. We're gonna do Martha. This man's gonna We're gonna do the side the quest, leader. and we are going to do the hunt, Martha. but not the S ring. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by Akashic. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Okay. All right, let's go. The Flames of War. Yeah. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. Probably, yeah. Let's go fast. Oh, oh, really? I can't even jump over them. Really? <laughs> nice ride, Ambrosia. Thank you. Wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. 
Yeah, whatever. Tight! did a thing yes very much quite these men don't have the look of hired swords they're probably just people from the town oh yeah that guy if oh that guy robbed this place no remember him right he's the one who's like you are mistaken my lord rosfield we're here by madam martha's leave how do you know my name forgive me my lord there wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade oh, left earlier with a scouting <laughs> party to I'll find stick out somebody where else. the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you anon. Anon? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I believe the next hundo was an air rank. Right. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned. And we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! Let's go! We'll worry about them, Martha. Let's go! You look after everyone here. Come on! If any can still fight, yeah. send them to the lift. Oh, what about a bang man nigga diggy? You two be safe now. I keep seeing that side quest thing imaging. I just keep thinking it's just like right there. Oh, you got some new stuff, do you? Probably Anything music, right? right? Probably music. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Much obliged. At all, is it? Mad dogs. A lot of them. We are coming! We gonna save y'alls! Oh, yes we are. Uh, I thought they were right at, like they have monsters right at Squire, their heels. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. Hey, it's Wade. But what about... Is it Wade? I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? 
behind you. There's a big old cache of turtle. Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Ah, we can do it. Are you with us, Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Shit. little bit. Nope. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. Mm. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Oh, shit. Feel like finishing the job. Always. Holy fuck. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. I'm telling you, Ultima. Ultima needs to get his fucking ass kicked. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. More enemies. Oh, shit. Lots of goblins, though. And flying thing images. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Marker and the others won't be ready. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. I wasn't paying attention to that. My bad. What the hell, bro? What's up with this goblin? Making a fool out of me. And that cash is dope, though. Poor thingy. Poor thingy. Get wrecked, fools! Oh, no enemies are slaying. Oh. <sighs> Let's oh, apologies, go. my lord. Did I miss anything? Just a fucking ugly eye. Only the first round, so wait. Actually, Shall two I? rounds. It was two rounds. 
when you think about it, right? If I can finish it with just using fucking magic attacks, there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my eye is really bothering me, though. Oh. Do you see any more? I don't. No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. Yeah, we need to deal with Ultima. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that... Of course they can stay. <laughs> Good, Martha. Bye! <laughs> oh, nice. A symbol of trust, loyalty, and undying friendship. For, lo for as long as the fire burst flame burns in our hearts, the duchy cannot die. Wait, wait. When we finished the other ones, did we also get a something that goes into our dis uh, like display in our chambers? That I have not realized. Probably. Lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Your mom? Oscar, over here. It's not a mom's name. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? 
I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy shield. N -n not that so Wade and the other guardians are. <laughs> I mean to say that. Uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Hey! My friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go. Well, yeah, let's go, um... Let's go here. Put Otto's mind at rest. Yeah, right there. Are these the things that we're looking for? I doubt we'll find one yep. bigger than that. Hungry Toggle. Come on. God damn it. Come on. <laughs> what do you fight? What are you hitting there, man? Nothing. You hit nothing. Come on, go after him. Go after him. Jesus. I seem to be struggling there just a little bit. Alright, well it's done. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that was a bit brutal though. Oh, that was a bit brutal. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> I say that answers my question. Yay! Which means we are the lawsmen, our thanks. Turgle! You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. Yup! We love Turgle! Turgle best... Turgle best puppy in game. You do know you can take that with you, Turgle. Sandy, Lady Carol best puppy. Lady Carol will be relieved to your appetite back. Come on, boy. Okay, so that's done. Right. After it. So now what we do is no, we want I, I want the, the local map. All right. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. And I am looking white sands. Hmm. Where are the quiet sand? Oh, right there. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, all the enemies seems to have gone to caching, yeah. Like, every single one of them. Fucking Ultima. Oh, 
cheese. Even that town. Lazarian district or whatever it was. Whee! Alright, this is an A rank. So meaning time to get fucking wrecked, right? Be safe. Sorry, we were the one who destroyed a crystal. Yeah, that would be our bad, but you know, technically not our bad. Oh shit, 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 shit! Really? 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 Come on, fucking dodge. Oh, shit. There we go. Come on, just fucking wreck his face or some shit. Alright. Come on. Come on! Oh, 
enough. Oh, all oh, that finish. Mm. Hey, it's the first time that we do a rank E on the first try. Oh, and we level up. Um, yeah, if we want to be able to do those S ranks, I think I, I do need to level up a lot. Most no more definitely. What is that? No more war. What is that? What is this? What is that? What is what is that marker for? What is this? Oh, oh, we can set. Oh, oh, you can only have one marker at a time, though. Okay, I never noticed that. Okay, well, guess what? We have completed all of the hunts. Wait, there's shit. Really? There's a side quest there. But where? Oh, it's locked. It's the same thing. This one is also locked. Okay, well, then there's, there's no point. Let's just go to the highway. Let's go to the highway. Let's turn in all the side quests and then turn in the main quests and take it from there, I guess. Yeah. see the sun again yeah once we fucking kill ultima asshole i noticed you and toga had gone off somewhere took him for a walk did you yeah we got bones <laughs> you could say that so Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? Well, will teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. <coughs> all right, all right, no need to shout. Now we know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Hmm, <laughs> one? Maybe we'll like five? Five big bones! Yeah, was right in my back pocket. Nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh, seems ooh, the ooh, hideaway ooh, has ooh. lost its. Apple. We did buy a new piece of song. Oh, right here. Okay. There will be thunder. Na 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 na. Thunder. Were you able to locate your quarry? Yes. There were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction, and Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good. Very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Okay. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? Sure. About how she somehow woke the power within him. Yeah. Precisely that. Yeah, I remember that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you described Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Like us. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if mm. I am not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. 
we are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Man's best friend. Quest complete. Mm-hmm. Yes. A bone to pick. We're getting a significant amount of renown too, huh? Slightly increases Torgal's attack points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Blackthorn now. Good day, Blackthorn. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. Sundered Whetstone, a slab of rock quarried on the southern continent. Its unparalleled hardness makes it perfect for sharpening blades forged from all manner of metals, from bronze to adamantite. Hmm. Okay, very nice. My whetstone. Yes, but not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. I'm curious to know what we're going to get from this. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the plate to rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone this fine. Now that's something to consider. Yeah, at least and get what's a little bit more, right? A little bit more, eh? Or more hard wearing, for that matter. A little bit more Just uh, imagine sharpness. It. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. Yeah. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Quest well, complete. Flatsmith's Blues 2. Even more renowned. Excalibur Design Draft. <laughs> Just the name, Excalibur. Oh, a diagram detailing the steps to forge a sword to rival that of a legendary king. Mm -hmm. Why, well, yes. King Arthur. Let me see what we need, though. It's probably going to be some S rank shit that we need. Fuck Christ. Yeah. Right? For saying for you, dear. Yeah, Excalibur, we need nothing. I can do it. Wait, no. What? But I can do Excalibur. What's the weapon that I have right now? Brightburn. Oh, but wait, it's probably the um like I can reinforce it, perhaps. No. Hmm. I might just do it just to have it, but that's a shame. I thought it would have been much better. Check the reports. 
the flames burn bright. <laughs> you have an uncanny talent of showing up where you're most needed, my lord. Without your steel, I fear the rest would be in the hands of the Akashic and us but more of their nameless numbers. However, with the horde now both thin and fractured, we guardians can focus our efforts on putting down the smaller packs without the worry of being overwhelmed, while Martha's blood axes can return to defending the Tor. As for young Oscar, you will forgive my sudden request for taking him under your wing. He is a good man, attentive, polite, hardworking. So as you can see, he already has learned everything he can from me. He would do well to continue his acquiring under a more worthy shield, and the realm has none more worthy than you. Wait, very nice. How fares the rest? The Guardians are getting along with the Axis fine enough, working to shore up the rest walls when not clearing out what few threats remain down in the reeds, though chances are we'd still be neck deep in Akashit had you not given that horde your firm but gentle nudge. I know you've a realm to save an elf, but if you're ever in need of a quick reviver, come see us. It will tap you a cask. Martha. Thank you. Word from Northreach. Clive, you have the town's thanks for helping rid of, of the thralls, but we are neither of us so naive to think that we seen the end of their life. Good Philip has taken to seeing that we are prepared to show the goals come once call again calling. But I off worry the rank of captain has begun to weigh heavily upon his shoulders. Just as I imagined, the same might be said of you and your burthens. But remember, should the weight ever become too much, you need to stand alone. Our hearts and arms remain ever open, as do the veil's doors. Isabel. Yeah, but, no, but we can't even go in. We don't even know what's going on in there. Dramatis persona. The guard and league have put aside their differences for the time being, allowing us all leave to sip our snake spit in relative leisure. For that, I would hazard. We have your better half to thank. She put on quite the performance. As for yours, well, from one aspiring thespian to another, might I suggest working on your delivery <laughs> and your projection and those stiff limbs of yours and your countenance and, well, everything else. We wouldn't want to do the name Underhill a disservice now, would we? <laughs> Luber. Fucker. <laughs> Wall of Memories. Yeah, there's probably a couple that we've missed, right? We got the guard, yeah, Guardian Scarves, Martel's Apples, Ambrosia's Tack, the Oath. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, yeah, we only got the Guardian uh, Staff. Oh, a Scarf. Okay. Oh, well. All right, let's go turn in Weird Signs. I think that one's long overdue as well. The view is no longer as good. The sky has made it very cloudy. Fucking Ultima. All this fuss hey, bro. over a few dark clouds. All right there, Sid? Yeah. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? Um, I have it here. It's completed. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Yeah! I just want to get rid of all these side quests and stuff so that we can move on with the main quest. There we have it. The Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that. Huh? Wait, have you been hiding what this from kind me? kind of magic? Yeah. Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. 
What? Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. What do you mean? Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Oh! It can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. We're gonna ha we're gonna be able to get more potions. Really? Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, definitely. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your back. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Nice. Oh, quest complete. Oh, I'm happy about this one, though. Yes, I am. Treated potion satchel. Necessary for increasing consumable inventory capacity. Oh, 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 where were, where were you my whole life? Oh, where the same exotic compound that was applied to the leather of the satchel be needed into a pair of boots. They should surely become subtle enough to accommodate a man with 20 toes. I see. <laughs> Very flexible. Oh my god, inventory increased. Oh, I can have more potions at a time that will help out with the very difficult fights. Oh, thank you. Oh, we can have two more potions, one more high potions. Uh, one of each of high potions, strength, and stone skin tonics. Oh. Oh! Oh, that is fantastic. Is that is there gonna be anything up there? Can I go up there? Have I ever been up here? I don't think I've ever been up here. What is up here? Suspicious After character. Drake's head, I was beginning to wonder if you'd lost interest in Sid's grand scheme. But here we are. Another crystal cracked, another nation in disarray. You the mantle of outlaw well we've met this one before right i don't remember what happened to the sky oh there is a treasure look at that cool okay So while we are heading here, I want to check to see if there's new hunts and the likes. Nope, no new hunts, but I'll figure with all of the renown that I have received, we're bound to be able to get you back so soon. some more donations, right? Here's everything we've received and everything promised. Oh, 1,500. 1,500 ability points. That is fantastic. A pall lifted. Hugo's men are gone, and with them, the fear in our hearts. Once more shall the markets echo with mirth and merriment. And it is you who we have to thank, Delamil Spicer. Here you are. Mm. Oh, 105. No risk, no reward, orchestral roll, and one amber. Best of luck out there, Sid. Thank you. All right, well, you know what? We will continue the main quest and the story in the next video. Sweat up. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.